Hello, I'm Dr. Sheila. I'm a consulting obstetrician and gynecologist practicing in Raja Rajeshwarnagar, Bangalore. We have our own hospital. We are Nagarbavi Circle SK Hospital. The term macrosomia is used to describe a newborn who weighs more significantly more than average. That is, if the baby's weight is more than 4000 grams, then it is called as uh, macrosomic baby. Or if it is more than 90th percentile for that period of pregnancy, then also it is called macrosomic. So almost 10% of the babies uh, born are macrosomic. What are the reasons, what are the conditions where we come across this kind of babies? A woman who is obese, pre-pregnant, can give, rise, give, give birth to a baby who is big. Or a woman who gains excessive weight gain during pregnancy, again can give, rise, give birth to a bigger baby. Constitutional, or it can be genetic. Unusually large, heavy and tall woman can give birth to a big baby. And But most common factor or reason for this is the diabetes mellitus. It can be a pre-pregnant diabetes mellitus or woman with type 2 diabetes who get pregnant or GDM can have a macrosomic babies and this is the commonest condition. Almost 60% of the women with this condition can have a macrosomic babies. Pregnancy which is prolonged more than 41 weeks can have lead to macrosomic babies. People Mother who has delivered earlier big babies can again deliver big babies. Coming to the gender, male infants always weigh more than the uh, female infants. What causes this kind of macrosomia in gestational diabetes pregnancies? Poor glycemic control in a woman with GDM or type 2 diabetes it has always elevated glucose level in their blood. This will get transferred to the fetus. It stimulates the fetal insulin and insulin-like growth factor uh, levels, which in turn stimulates the glycogen synthesis and it, the, it gets deposited in the form of fat. This leads to a big babies. This is the mechanism how it works in a woman with uh, GDM. So in conditions of macrosomic babies while delivering, naturally because of the large size of the baby, prolonged labor is there, difficulty in labor is there, because of that there is a fetal distress and such babies are ten, tend to be put in the NSU for longer time. And again macrosomic babies, difficult labor, injury to the distress, I mean the shoulder distrocious are there in breech deliveries. Because of these difficult babies there is always injury to the bones, nerves and also to the uh, injury to the musculoskeletal structures. Metabolic problems are like babies can have hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, hyperbilirubinemia and hypercalcemia. So these are some of the complications in a fetus uh, in a macrosomic babies. But what are the long terms of uh, problems in these babies? Babies who are born obese, they will in turn tend to develop diabetes mellitus at later age. There can be again uh, cardiac disorders, respiratory disorders and uh, polycythemic conditions. But one important thing is girl baby who is macrosomic at birth tend to be obese adolescent and when she marries at later age there is a very good chance that she develops diabetes mellitus and she conceives she will in turn deliver a macrosomic babies which in turn will develop become a obese Girl, adolescent girl and then become a diabetic mother and develop a uh, macrosomic child. So this is a very vicious circle. That's why I think somewhere as a to it's a it becomes a social problem. So somewhere we have to deal with this very effectively in order to prevent macrosomia in uh, pregnant woman.